I feel like this logic could apply to like most of the weapons. Like if you have a blunt weapon like the pipe and you have like a katana, which is sharp and could cut through things, um, which one would really like, you know, do more damage? Like something that could cut you in half, let's say, compared to something that would just I don't know. Um hit you really hard and then maybe I don't know. I, I feel like this that was just like a oversight uh choice, I guess, that they made. It's not really like a intricate thing. It was just done. <laughs> okay. Um and not so am I asking too many questions? Just I mean, No, it's fine. Oh, okay. So um you know how Chop has the unique ability to, like, basically negate all sword damage, right? Um, yeah. So, Pipe is not sharp, but it's a blunt weapon. I've tried these on the lab subordinates in C2, and um, the Pipe, although it's a blunt weapon, it's still negated by the effects of Chop. So... Yeah. Because the way that the game is coded, that's why sword moves, like, sword moves that have nothing to do with like slicing they're also like chop is immune to it mm -hmm. it's just because anything that's classified as a sword in game um chop has immunity to it um, um okay mm -hmm. i there's this i also have a like this is kind of like an idea to be added in the game this is probably like too much of a pain to add so you know how like dog step like the break dance and the kicks combo they have like these slicing animations Mm -hmm. And then also like the string awakened um X move thermal laceration and silk prison Z and X move, they like like they cut into you right. So yeah. do you think in the anime if Buggy was to sustain those like hits then he would be cut and then he would be immune to it or do you think he would just yeah. So um the only yeah yeah no no you go on you so go. so so with Birdcage which is the move that um. The Flamingo uses to like trap. I think it was the whole city of Dressrosa, if I'm not mistaken. And then he just closes in on it, um, which would slice everybody if it was to reach the center. But um, yeah, if it was used on Buggy, he would just be fine. Um, the only thing I see with thermal laceration, um, when he's fighting, I think Sanji. Um, but it's supposed to be like a projectile version of it that he throws. And Birdcage. Birdcage, he would not be hurt by it. Um, the whip. The only reason I might see as to why he might get hurt by the whip is the... Um, the heat properties from it. Because the string is so compressed that it's actually hot. So that might be the only thing that might affect him. But I feel like anything that cuts through him... Would just be nullified. So he wouldn't take right. damage from the um. Right. So you know how like some swords, right? Instead of like, you know, so if you were to, like swing a sword at buggy and then like he would just split it into pieces, right? Yeah. But if you were to stab him, then so would how would that? I'm just thinking like. So well, if you were to stab him, it would be the same thing because you're basically, you're basically still. Like puncturing him, and it's basically like slicing through his skin. But since he could just separate his skin like that, it would just go through him normally. So if you if you were to use the string awakened V move, um, heavenly punishment, then it would just go through him. Oh, that is that's actually a good question. Um, yeah, I believe, huh? It's actually a good question. Um. Possibly, what I don't what I don't know, and honestly, is because they also use hockey. That's basically a bunch of string with hockey. I don't know if the hockey would be would have any effect on it, but I don't think it would. So I, I think it'll go through him as well. So uh, are you trying to go here that that buggy? Are you trying to say that buggy could be Do Flamingo? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying like because some effects they look like the. They simulate sword strikes, but like they just cut the person. So even if they're fruit attacks or like melee attacks, then and also like for example, if you have chop, right? I think it would also be a good future to add that like um 
So if you have chop, instead of dodging to the side, right, then the body yeah. just opens up and then the attack just goes through. It still wastes the dodge, but it just looks nice. I mean, would you add that? Um, or to you mean to to Ken Haki? Yeah. So like, if for example in PvP, right, someone's trying to. Someone has like Death Step Z rocket kick and then they go straight through you, right? But then you um so like if you have chop then you just open your body. That wastes a dodge, but I mean it still counts as a dodge, right? But then instead of dodging yeah. to the side, your, your body like opens up and then they go straight through you and then you close back. I mean it could be done. It would just have to be an animation replacement. They'll just have to use the same animation they use for swords on um and hockey, but I don't know, like that that would be a nice change, but I don't know if the developers would want to do that, really. But who knows? Maybe maybe they would. Maybe if I mention it, maybe they would. I I'm not sure. The thing is, chop is a low tier fruit. It hasn't been touched in a while. Probably won't be touched until an awakening. So I don't know if they'll really want to make that change. Ooh, chop awakening sounds fun. Um. Yeah, that would be cool. I I don't really know like what kind of moves you could really do but like there's so much stuff you can just do with like chop and all the pieces you can slice into that i feel like it might be a fun fruit to use once awakened mm. um I'm, this isn't a question but i've i've noted the fact that like when you use um chop z and um and spring z so the punch moves they are disappointingly short like you have to be really close to use it and like yeah uh, yeah um i like how in general chat they just monkey d sauce doe is getting an awakening that i i'm not sure about that i'm really yeah not sure about that. and again just you know that's an announcement that was made you scroll up and in a spoiler if you click the spoiler it'll show an emoji and that fruit Everybody has been, you know, saying that that's probably going to get an awakening. So, um, um, it's Rip Indra's Twitter, at Rip Crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, at Rip Crazy. One second. Uh, it's not in his Twitter. It's in an announcement in, um, in the Discord. I think, I forgot if you put it on server announcement or regular. I think it was regular. Hold on. Regular announcements. Let's see. Um, not really. It's just mostly Rob just talking. Yeah, so it's probably server announcement. Let me see. I'll check for you right now. Let me scroll up because we posted a lot there. Um, let's see. I think it was after... Shit. You know what? I can't find it, so I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Yeah, though it is going to get an awakening. Oh! Um, but that was pretty much that was pretty much the only fruit I could really talk about. This other fruits, I oh. think. Let me think. I'll count right now how many fruits oh. I have awakening oh for it with though. It's oh um. God. Hold on, I'm just okay. thinking. Okay. Okay. I think it's three fruits, three awakenings with though, and then there's one new fruit. I think. Um. But I might be wrong. I think there might be more awakenings. I forgot. Damn. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. What is um most likely going to be the the newest fruit that is going to be added into the game? Um. I can't I can't say that, but. Okay. Fair I think enough. it's a fruit that a lot of people will like. All right. Okay. That's. When is the expected date for update 17? Um, I don't know if we're supposed to give dates, but it's probably going to be released next month, sometime around next month. All right. So do you plan yeah. on removing the Haunted Castle or are you going to keep it there? You mean the, the castle for this update? Yes. Um, that's gonna be kept there. So, oh, okay. So it's not a one-off event. So it's just all okay. Um. Yeah, because yeah, it's supposed to be Thriller Bark, so that's why. Oh, okay. That. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. 
um, so when I've been bounty bounty hunting, right? Um, I've seen these hackers. So, um, so usually if you like were to insta instantly teleport, right? Then you'd mm -hmm. get teleported back. Like with the Buddha glitch, then like you still get teleported back. But um, when I used Buddha Awakened, right, and I did the flying Buddha thing, you know how like you just start sky jumping and yeah. you immediately go fast. Like after a time. Yeah then you just like get teleported back to where you were. But there's a workaround that I figured out that if you go like just a tiny bit and then you land in the water and then you keep going like in short distances, you won't get teleported back. So now me as a sword door sword, sword user, I find it a bit annoying that like the borders can run. I mean like they get teleported back, but they still like manage to catch enough speed. So like monkey D sus. I'm telling him about the border glitch because I find it annoying that border users can just run away when I'm bounty hunting. Um, so the problem with that is that the check, which is a teleport check, it basically just checks your, um, it checks your, your character's location, um, in the next second compared to the last second to know if you were like teleporting around the map or not. So the only, like, since they're moving at a slower pace when they land on the water and then keep moving little by little, um, it doesn't really consider it that they're, like, teleporting or moving really fast. So I think the best way to fix that would just, would just to be, would be to just fix the damage for, like, Buddha users when they touch the water, like the awakened ones. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if that's fixable, but I think when Buddha Awakening came out, um, the reason that they didn't fix it was just because they tried, and um, eventually they just it didn't they didn't come up with a solution, so they just left it like that. But like, but I'll see if I could get them to fix it. But like, why does that glitch exist? Like, what fun? Like, what future like enables the glitch to exist in the first place? It's it's a Roblox issue. We can't fix it. That's why this is like the best fix. Okay. So um now I see that like hackers, for example, um instead of instantly TPing to the next um to the next NPC to grind, then they just like move slowly. Like they move faster than normal dashing, but they just move slowly to the next NPC. They just TP around the top of the NPC, they kill like they just M1 kill it and then they just go to the next NPC. So like instead of yeah. instantly warping, they just slowly like they move there so that they don't get registered by the TP check. So yeah. how do you intend on patching that hack? Um. Honestly, we're we're, we're already working on that. So like that, we already have a fix. Um. But I I can't say how it works, and I can't really explain anything, but. Yeah, we already have a fix. Okay. I also remember when I was PvPing with my friend, there was this 4.8 mil hacker that joined. So he just like, just started TPing around in a short distance, so he didn't get registered by the TP thing. But he also spammed Dragon Talon moves, which means he TP'd really close, he used Dragon Talon C, and then he just kept spamming moves in a really close vicinity. And I could not register him on Ken, even though I could see his name, like, Normally, like you can see people's name normally, but not under um, observation. So, um, that hack also kind of exists. Wait, could you? So, basically, you're saying that they hide their name while, while you're using Ken? Okay. So, I can't see them in Ken, which means, like, I have observation V2. I can't see them glow up when they're using the, um, the move. And also, they just like TP in a really short distance so that, like, they won't get registered by the thing, you know. But then they also spam moves yeah. while they're doing that, which means it's not just like the Kabucha fly hack, they actually use moves. So he, yeah. he used like Dragon Talon, so the C move just obs obliterated my can. I had to use Door to run because then he couldn't follow me. <laughs> but like, yeah. So how do you intend on f patching that? Um, Patching... Well, if we, if we fix... If we fix the teleporting, 
like that ultimately patches anything having to like anything that has to do with teleporting. Yeah. Does that make sense? So you can't patch it. Yeah. What I'm saying is that if we fix, if we ban the people for teleporting, if we catch them teleporting, then that will ultimately fix the people that are teleporting using moves. It's the same thing. They're use, they're doing the same thing, just different. Yeah. Like they're just using moves instead of grinding NPCs. Ew. Thanks for the interview. All right.